Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited to be bringing you guys a one brand tutorial look. I'm so excited to have you guys watch how I apply these products onto my face and what I think about them and if everything works out in the end. <laughs> for those of you that are new to my videos and my channel overall, welcome! My name is Jane, also known as Breath of Beauty. And for those of you that are part of the Breath of Beauty fam already, it's nice to see you guys again. If you want to join the Breath of Beauty family, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and also make sure to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to make sure you are notified whenever I put up a new video. Alright, so if you guys want to see me do a full face using all products from one brand, which is Wet n Wild today, then keep on watching. Whew, I just came back from walking my dog, so I'm a little hot right now. So I'm going to start off by doing my eye makeup because I don't remember if the Wet n Wild eyeshadows have any fallout. I have three different palettes today. I know these are, oh, this is upside down. I know these are supposed to be really good eyeshadows. I've had them for a while now. These are the only Wet n Wild products that I have not recently purchased. These are ones that I've had for a while. Um, I haven't really gotten a chance to test them out as much, so I don't really remember how these are in terms of color payoff and blendability and stuff like that. So we shall see how we can incorporate maybe one or two of these palettes into my look today. Since I don't have an eyeshadow primer from Wet n Wild, I'm going to go ahead and use the concealer that I got. Um, my Photo Focus Concealer in the color light to medium beige. So that's what I'll be using on my eyes today. Oh, right off the bat, it seems very pigmented. I've heard a lot of good things about this concealer. I'll just use my damp beauty blender to blend it all out on my eye. Just to cancel out any veins that you see on my eyelids and give it a nice clean slate. I can start working with. I will not be using Wet n Wild tools today simply because I want to purchase a whole new set of tools from Wet n Wild because that's expensive, right? Okay, so I have that all over my lids. I am going to take this palette, The Naked Truth, and it's this creamy yellowish cream color called Base on the palette, and I'm putting that all over my lids. To set it. Okay, so the concealer so far was pretty easily blendable on my eyelids. I don't know how they they will work out on my under eye, but we shall see. So I will be going with this palette. After all, I think the colors are just so much fun. So I will be doing yet another purple look. It's gonna be the Floral Values palette right here. Everything is labeled, but I don't think I'm going to go by the rules. So, alright, let's see how this turns out. I think I'll take the brow kit that I got and use this middle shade as a transition color. So, to my surprise, the camera stopped recording at some point without me realizing. And <laughs> I have already put on a transition shade. Good thing I didn't go too far though. I just used this middle shade from the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit because I don't really have a transition shade in this purple hued color over here. So that is what I have done already. I have also used a little bit of the bronzer on my lids to help with the transition color situation because I realized that the brow kit is a little bit darker than I had hoped. But that's okay, we'll make it work. We will make it work. So that's where I was in the process. And I am just blending to all of eternity, making sure everything is seamless and looking not horrible. So we are all caught up now, right? <laughs> oh, I hate it when this happens. I have the transition down now, so we can go ahead and use one of these shadows. I think I'm going to start out by taking this eyelid color. It's a very fuchsia pink and why not? I'll just use this sponge tip applicator that it came with because it is a wet n wild product, right? So I'm gonna take some of that product 
Wet and Wild Shadows are very pigmented, so. Oh, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Of course, is isn't really applying it as best as it could, but it's doing the job. I think sponge tips are pretty good for when you want to get a lot of pigment onto your lids. Maybe not the wet and wild ones, but most of the time, sponge tip applicators are pretty good, I think. It's kind of similar to using your finger in my mind. I'm just going to layer and lay the color down, and I'll take a different brush and I'll blend it all out. Oh my! So pink. This could be a pretty spring look, I think. Matching all the tulips and lilacs. That are blooming and violets. This will be a different purpley look than the one I've done before because this is gonna be a pinky purple look. It'll be very springy and pretty. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, right? I think the color laid down pretty nice. The other side of the sponge tip applicator, and I'm gonna take this definer color. I'm taking this darker purple definer color and I'll define the outer corner of my eyes with this sponge tip applicator and just kind of blend it into an ombre effect. A gradient, if you will. Alright. Just get the rough shape of it with the sponge tip applicator. And shape it out a little bit and you can always blend it out with a brush layer the color down again for the best opacity the rough shape is down if you guys think it looks rough it's okay we have blending right <laughs> I'm gonna take this clean brush it's the real techniques uh, base shadow brush I'm gonna basically blend out all harsh edges that I see and make this look work for me. Now I'm gonna go in and put in some more color because I think blending it took away some of the opacity. So I'll be layering more on in the inner corner of my eyes. Maybe I should use my finger. That might not be bad. Oh yeah. Using the finger works well. I feel like the sponge tip applicator was kind of taking the product underneath away and dragging it. So, I didn't want that. So I would say these shadows are pretty pigmented, but you do have to layer them a little bit to get the opacity that you would want. I'll take more of that definer color here, this purple, darker purple shade. I'm gonna put more on the outer corner. Pat it on here until I'm satisfied. And if you don't want to use these, <laughs> don't use them. If you have better tools to use them, go ahead and do so. I just wanted to try them out and see if they're worth using. Um, they're okay, right? They're not terrible, but they do have to make you work a little bit harder to get what you want. I think I'm going to take a clean brush. This is my MAC. I think it's 217. The, call, the number is kind of rubbing off a little bit. But I'm going to take this base color and use that as my brow bone. Brow bone. <laughs> brow bone. Highlight. Or brow bone color. Same here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looking messy. Mm -hmm. Looking messy. That's okay. The color in the brow kit wasn't exactly the best. <laughs> For transition because it's not blending as well right but you gotta just make do with what you have now I think I will add the crease color right here it's got some glitter in it I'm not sure if it will come out glittery but I'll add that on the outer corner just to further define this look Continue to blend. I like this purple shade that I put down initially. It keeps 
fade it. Don't fade, Mr. Purple. And I think that's all that I will do for my eyes. <laughs> I'll leave it at here. I'm going to line my eyes using the Wet n Wild uh, Felt Tip Eyeliner. It's the Proline Felt Tip Eyeliner in the color black. Looks like this. It's tiny, tiny. Open it up. It is indeed a felt tip eyeliner. Hopefully this will glide on my eyes pretty well. So we shall see. We'll just give it a pretty good wing. One thing I'm not too um too much of a fan about felt tip eyeliners is that they kind of drag my eyelid skin a little bit. But I'm being gentle. I definitely feel like I have to try harder with this eyeliner than I would have to with my regular all-time favorite Japanese eyeliners. So we can be done with that. I'm just going to curl my lashes real quick before I do mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use the Mega Length mascara right here. It is very black. Hopefully it will make my lashes 80% longer <laughs> like it claims right here. That's what it looks like right here. If I open it up, the wand looks like a rubbery... Uh, brush tip so let's see if it works on my eyelashes I don't think I've tried a wet and wild mascara before and this is turning out pretty well I think I'm usually like a die hard Maybelline mascara fanatic but look at that I think that's pretty good I'm impressed I'm not sure if Wet n Wild has lashes, but I'm foregoing them for this look. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. So now let's just move on to doing my face. So I'll use the Photo Focus Face Primer by Wet n Wild. Squeeze some onto my finger. Ooh. I don't know how much I need. But I'll just use some of this for my T-zone, my cheek areas, and kind of everywhere. It feels, mm, it feels similar to like a silicone-y primer, I think. It almost feels a little bit like a watery lotion. So now I'm going to put some foundation on. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color bronze beige. Hopefully this color matches me. Oh, it comes in like a paddle applicator. I'm just gonna put that on my hand actually and then put it on my face from there. Just dot it everywhere. I'll be using a damp beauty, beauty can't speak. I'll be using a damp beauty blender to apply this foundation give it a good fair chance hopefully this is enough and just take a damp beauty blender and pat it onto my face so far I'm liking what I see let's blend it into my hairline I think it's an okay color match actually. On the Wet n Wild website, if you know like, for example, what your Makeup Forever HD foundation shade is, then it will tell you on the website, oh, you are this color on the Wet n Wild foundation shade. And if you're curious about this foundation and you want to find out what shade you would be and you know what color you are in the Makeup Forever or... There's like other um, foundation shades you could go off of, then you should check that out on their website. The coverage is, as you can see, buildable. I think you can still see like some of my sunspots and 
everything. I usually go for like a more natural coverage on my face. So this works for me. I'm going to go in with my concealer that I used earlier for my eyelids to prime. And put that where I need it. It'll be like under my eyes. And down my nose. Where I usually have some dark spots. It's a thicker consistency, I think. I usually go for like a more neutral look if I can help it. <laughs> but I think it's fun to play with color, get out of your comfort zone, right? So that's what I've been trying to do with my videos. If I have some neutral lovers out in my beauty fam, don't worry, neutral looks are coming. <laughs> I really do love my neutral looks. Pretty decent coverage, blendable, and yeah, I have no complaints about the foundation or the concealer. All right, gotta work on these brows. Can we talk about my brows a little bit? They need some help. I don't think I'm gonna use this. Should I just try using this little tiny brush? I don't know. I don't think it'll work. What, what? It's that brow kit that I got. Um, it's It only comes in the shade Ash Brown. So that's what I'm using. And I'm using this tiny little plasticky brush that comes with the little kit. I guess so far it's doing a decent job, not as good as I would hope. So I'm just using... Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is a lot. That's very pigmented. I did not expect that coming from this palette. So keep that in mind, guys. If you guys get this, it is very pigmented. At least a darker shade. Right, take a little bit of that darker shade now because we all learned from the other eyebrow how crazy pigmented that was that almost ended in a very disastrous ending <laughs> okay I think this brush didn't do terribly it feels very cheap but it did the job. Why don't we set the face with the pressed photo focus pressed powder. This is in the color warm beige. So I'm going to set the whole face. I'm just using my Real Techniques powder brush. So my face is set. I think the powder mattified my face and set my face pretty well. Um, I will go in with my bronzer that I got. It's the Color Icon Bronzer with SPF 15 in it. It's the shade Ticket to Brazil. And again, I'm just going to take my Real Techniques bronzer brush. It's got a sheen to it, so that's something to keep in mind. I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit. It looks like a little more subtle subtle color on me but it's pretty it's very glowy actually <laughs> way more glowy than I thought some on my forehead slim up my big forehead so I'm going to use a highlight right here I've heard so many good things about it it's the precious petals like a glow highlighting powder. I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques brush again. It's called a setting brush, but I love using it for highlight. Let's see. Let's just put some on my cheekbone. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. 
up. Little goes a long way with this one. Same for the other cheek. The other cheekbone needs some highlighting love too. You guys see that glow? That's pretty. Can I put that on my cute Cupid's bow? And we'll call it a day with the highlight. I will put some more highlight on the inner corner because I forgot to do that. Make my eyes pop. Oh yeah. That's pretty. Very pretty indeed. Is it too much purple everywhere? Let's just try this out. Let's try out this Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick. It's in the color Berry Recognized. Let's go in theme for this whole berry look. Maybe it'll look okay. You guys can definitely pair this look with a lighter pink color. So, I think this is the final look that I came up with. The lips might be a little dark for this season, but hey, there's plenty of flowers this color. <laughs> you guys can definitely pair this look if you choose to recreate it with a nude lip. That will look very soft and beautiful with your pop of pink. I just decided to go color, color, color everywhere today. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can create a full face of beautiful glam look using Wet n Wild products. And I especially love the highlight. I think the highlight looked really good um, just on the skin and everything. So I think I'm giving a big thumbs up to the highlight. As for the eyeshadows, um, I thought I remember them being a little more, a tiny bit more pigmented without me having to layer it over and over and over again. I really love the mascara. It separated and lengthened my lashes, so I think that is a big thumbs up as well. I've worn this liquid lipstick a couple of times, and I know that it wears pretty well, and uh, it does kind of fade a little more than like the Milani liquid lipstick that I use. Overall, I enjoyed filming this video. It took a little bit of effort to <laughs> kind of use all new products, uh, except for a couple of products, of course, as I mentioned. But uh, I think it turned out decent, and I hope you guys like it too. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and join the Facebook group to keep in touch throughout the week. Again, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or enjoyed it or had fun with it. I don't know. <laughs> Otherwise, until next time, I love you guys. Bye.